Tonight, local and state investigations are underway at one of our region's premier hospital systems. Washington University's transgender clinic at Children's Hospital is at the center of a whistleblower investigation. This woman claims children are being harmed. News 4's Alexis Zotos is speaking with a parent who says these allegations are false, as well as hearing from the whistleblower. Alexis? Well, Jamie Reed worked at the Pediatric Transgender Center for four years before leaving last fall. In this 23-page sworn affidavit, she outlines practices by doctors and medical professionals at the center that many are calling disturbing and more seriously calling acts of child abuse, including putting children on hormones or puberty blockers without parental consent. For us, for my son, it was life changing. Susan Hella's son was a patient at the Washington University Transgender Clinic at St. Louis Children's Hospital. She was shocked by the article published by the Free Press on Thursday, written by Jamie Reed, a former case manager at the center in St. Louis. I was initially incredibly surprised. Um, I know this woman. Uh, I have always had um, much faith in her and what she does and that many parents have gone through her intake and know her well. In an article garnering national attention, Jamie Reed shares her experience working at the Transgender Center at St. Louis Children's Hospital from 2018 to 2020. The self-identified queer St. Louis resident participated in a webinar for paid subscribers outlining allegations and practices at the Transgender Center that she calls medically and morally appalling. One of the challenges in, for me, ethically and morally in working in this center is it kept feeling like we would almost set a red line, like there's no way they could go past this, right? There's like no way we're going to do this next case. And then the next thing you know, we're giving that next patient hormones too. It just kept feeling like the extremeness just could not, there was no end in sight. Reed took her concerns to Missouri Attorney General Andrew Bailey two weeks prior to the publication of the article. And a multi-agency investigation is now underway based on her sworn statements in this affidavit. Now Missouri Senator Josh Hawley has also announced an investigation and called for the preservation of all records at the Transgender Center. Every case that I talk about has a medical chart right there waiting for somebody to pull it and to just look at the information. It is sitting there. Washington University telling News 4 the allegations are serious and they'll investigate. But parents of transgender children in the St. Louis area question the timing of this, as numerous bills targeting transgender youth are being heard right now in the Missouri legislature. One of the things you learn when you love a trans kid is that your government is at war with you in the state of Missouri. And this just feels like a continuation of that. Reed said tonight she wants to see the center shut down, but multiple parents whose children have been patients at the transgender center say these experiences that she outlines in this affidavit were not their experiences. We have put requests in for interviews with Jamie Reed and her attorney, as well as our state attorney general, so we can ask about the next steps in this multi-part investigation. Reporting live, Alexis Zotos, News 4. A lot to follow up on there, Alexis. Thank you. Tonight